first, I want to start off with my NYX for eyebrow primer. I like to do my brows first. First, get my brows to lay down because my brows be all over the place. I'm going to define my brows with this Lancome Source. So I'm going to go in with my Cabrow number 5. What I do is I never go in this little area right here because I don't want to put too much product. So I just like whatever product I have left on this little applicator, I'll just like blend it close to it. Okay, so, so far so good with that brow. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. My brows are two different shapes and I just try to make them look identical as much as possible. I mean, who don't want their brows to look the same? I thought about doing microblading, but I'm too scared. I feel like that's just too much to keep up with. And I just feel like, I mean, I'm okay with what I have right now, right now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this new Born This Way concealer in the shade Mocha. This is my first time using it, so I get to review this product. I'm going to warm it up on my hand. Fine. I actually like the applicator. It's a cute little triangle applicator. And I'm going to just use my It Cosmetic brush. It's the Essential Concealer 212. I like It Cosmetic brushes because they last a really long time. And what I'm going to do now is just define my brow by just like cleaning it up with the concealer. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows this technique. I just like to do it because it looks sleek and clean. And it just makes the brow pop more. And then I just like blend it out with my finger. I'm definitely a finger user to a certain extent. I used to always use my finger for everything. But I mean, I found brushes that can do the job for me. Use some brushes, not my fingers. Cause, so this is how my brows came out. I'm going to fix this little tail right here. I usually don't like going at the top of the brow because I feel like I, I, I do a really good job of, you know, making it look nice and neat. Around. And what I like to do is I like to go in with my mini 24-hour brow, 24 brow setter. And Jill, this stuff do not move your brows this is like brow crack like literally your brows will be staying on like literally legit 24 hours so i like to put this on and have a good smell to it it does it doesn't stink or anything like these this will definitely keep your brows intact so i like to put this it get kind of gives it a nice sleek shiny look um next thing i'm gonna do is highlight underneath my brow and I'm going to go in again um, with the Benefit Brow High Brow and then I'm going to just blend it out so now the eyes are did and the brows are the match. What I'm gonna go in and do, I like to take my bronzer, my NYX bronzer in the shade Deep Tan. I like to take a little bit of that product and I like to kind of and then I like to take my Stila highlighter, kind of warm it up with my finger. Kind of give you a nice, and then I want to kind of go in next with my Maracuja oil, and I like to kind of give that a warm touch to my skin. I kind of use this as my primer because it makes my foundation look really good. Then I'm gonna go in with my four in one liquid. Pure Cosmetic and Deep, this is, well, Deeper 
um, it's the 4-in-1 Pure Cosmetics Foundation. And I'm going to add that into the remaining, uh, like, warm that up in my hand. I'm going to go on my forehead. A lot of people ask me, like, why do you like to choose, like, foundation that's lighter than your shape? Well, honey, I like to look brighter, basically. Not to change, you know, my skin complexion, but I just like to look a little bit brighter. I'm going to go back in with that concealer. And we're going to just add that there. And I'm going to use another brush. Okay. So... We got a concealer all in place. Um, I got some of my stuff on the floor, y'all. So I'm just all over the place right now. Cause, <sighs> like, mm, this brush smells good as hell. I think my perfume spilled. My perfume spilled. I'm like, mm, this brush smells good. But my perfume spilled up in my makeup bag. Okay, now I'm putting perfume on my face. So my face is going to smell good. Hopefully, I don't break out from that. Okay, so now what I like to do is I'm going to set my face. This is a darker color than my skin, so I just like to use it as a bronzer. And then I like to go in and just, like, set my whole face just to, like, kind of darken and give my skin some more depth. This in the top. And this is Lancome's um, Long Time No Shine in the shade Deep. This is my jam because this stuff is really, really good and I'm very, very oily. I'm just going to bake and then I like to kind of bronze like that. Like, look at that. Like, that really just gave me some life. Like, I was looking like a corpse, but like, look how beautiful. And then you just like always blend in a circle so it won't be any harsh lines. Girl, oh, that is so freaking good. Then I like to go down my nose with the bronzer. Pick it up. And then, like like I said before, I like to just sweep it all over my face. Just to bring everything together because I'm, like, oily. So, I'm going to go ahead and take to really give me a little bit more of a uh, I'm gonna go in with the deep golden NYX um, they discontinued this so I don't know if you can still find it like on the NYX website or whatnot but this is a stay matte but not flat in the shade deep golden um, I'm almost hidden pan as you can see it's a little silver dot so I like to go in and take my little fluffy brush this brush is old. I don't even know what brush this is, but it's just like a blush brush. But I like to just like tap that like on literally a little bit above my bronzer so I won't be so oily. This helps me, you know, be a little bit more matte. I just like to take that all over the face and the neck just to give my skin more of a, you know, matte look. I love powders. Any powders that I have, it's just all going on my face okay so now what i'm gonna do is take my blend rose paradise from long home i don't know if they still sell this in stores but this is like a really really hot pink this is gorgeous like i'm like i just love blush okay i'm gonna put my mascara on and then my lip and then i'm gonna spray so I'm going to actually use my little light because looking in the camera, it's not doing it for me. And then I like to kind of go in at the bottom and just wiggle the product through. Just to define my bottom lash. Look at that. Gorgeous. A big difference. I'm definitely satisfied with my lashes. There. Okay, and then next, I'm going to go in. My other lash. My little tip for my lashes is to wiggle and pull through. So it looks a little clumpy right, clumpy right here, but I think I just need another uh, 
mascara. Take it down to the lashes, the bottom lash. Alright, cool. So, well, let me fix that. Okay. And then I'm going to kind of go in with my Tarte Light Camera Flashes and kind of like pull it, pull the product through because no lashes is needed. Ladies, just use two, uh, two mascaras. Just pair them up. This is a master carla too. Okay. And then now I'm going to go in with the NYX Suede Lip Pencil in the shade... What shade is this? Soft Spoken. So, I'm going to go in. And I like to kind of give my lip some depth at the bottom. intensify my lip and then my top lip I don't know why but I'm not a big fan of my top lip is use the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine in the shade back top and this is going to be my gloss I'm gonna actually put this. This is like my favorite. It's almost gone. Okay, so since this is not like coming out as I'm supposed to, I'm gonna use the shade Grim from Anastasia. This is the gloss. No, this is the liquid lipstick, so I'm not using this because I want a like the gloss look. So I'm gonna go in with Vintage and Anastasia. And then, ooh, that's not really light. Ugh, my lips are huge. Okay, and then I like to go in with the NYX lingerie color push up. Push up, push up, push up. And, y'all, I'm not feeling this color. I'm not feeling this color. Mm -mm. Not feeling it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, so since that pink lip didn't work, basically what I did was, excuse me, went to go get this little brown lip liner, which is like I'm on the limb. And I'm going to see how this works. I don't even know if this, oh, still sharpen. Bruh, like, are you kidding me? Next, if I can't sharpen the rest of this and get the rest of my product, no, are you serious? Okay, so, I'm having some technical difficulties with a uh, lip liner, so we're gonna just do without. This is the new color called Kristen. We're going to see how this one looks. With. And I actually like this one. I'm going to add a little bit of the NYX color um, push up to it. I don't know what it's going to do, but probably brighten it up a little bit. But Okay, so y'all. I guess this is the finishing look. Um, I hope y'all like it. So yes, y'all, let me know in the comments below if you like some makeup tutorial or whatever. I mean, it's it ain't like natural natural, but it's like to a certain extent natural because it's like pink. You know, got a little blush going on. I feel like my lips wasn't natural enough, but. Y'all just let me know in the comments below, like, what I could have did differently. If I, if y'all like the lip that I did before, or y'all like this lip, or I should have did, like, a deeper color, like a brown or something like that. Like, I can do that. I will catch y'all in the next one. See you later.